Hello friends, my name is Amul and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Django Framework on your Windows 7, 8 and 10. I'm also going to show you how to create your first project and run the server and launch your project. So please like, share and subscribe for my channel. Leave your comment. Tell me what is your favorite framework. Is it Django or Ruby on Rails or some other framework and your favorite programming language. Thank you so much. Let me go ahead and show you how to install Django on your Windows 10 computer. So make sure that you check what is the operating system type. This is 64-bit operating system based on 64-bit processor and this is Windows 10. However, this is going to work on Windows 7, 8, 8.1 and 10. May work on Vista and XP but on Vista please, Vista and XP install the older Python. So to install Python first of all you go to python.org and just put your cursor over here and then click on Windows. Alrighty so then you will see this is for XP. If you have XP or Vista use this one. If you have 7, 8, 8.1 and 10 you can install this one. Okay then you simply scroll down this is Python 3.6.2 download page so scroll down and choose one for you so this is basically 32 bit for Mac OS X okay and these are Windows download so this is 64 bit and this down 32 bit so I'm going to use web installer 64 bit because my operating system is 64 so I'm going to save it on the desktop and save now. Now once it's downloaded simply open it. You can open it from the desktop or wherever you have downloaded it. If you're using Chrome you just click here. Then before you, before you install the Python 2.7 or 3.6.2 32-bit or 64-bit you make sure you have checked this box and Python 3.6 or 2.7. If you want to check the customization, you can see it's installing ev installing everything: documentation, PIP, TCL, TK, and Idle, Python test suite, and PyLauncher as well for all users. So go back. You already have pip installed now. Just click here; it's going to be installed. So then you will get a prompt on the prompt to say yes. Hopefully it's going to take a minute maximum and once the installation is done I'm going to check the Python version and the pip version as well and then we will configure the environment and then install Django framework. Django has really simple and advanced which is going to uh, you know way to create applications and websites this is why it's famous and very much increasingly in demand so awesome see it's been installed successfully let me go ahead and close it and let's go ahead and see I'm going to open the command prompt cmd and check the python so python version sorry 3.6.2 then you want to check pip i'm sorry pip is 9.0.1 so awesome stuff. Let's go ahead and install, configure this environment for Django and then install Django. So because Django is keep changing, like it's been changing, always changing. So we need to go ahead and set up and follow the right instruction here. So we have already checked Python version. Now let me go ahead and set up the environment. Install virtual env and virtual env wrapper. So to get it, I'll go ahead and launch the PowerShell 
as an administrator this time as an administrator so right click on it and then click run as administrator and say yes on the prompt all you have to do simply copy it so I will leave this link in the description area so I'm just going to click right click on my, on my mouse and hit enter and I already maybe already have everything set up this is just for demonstration then just copy this one and right click on the command prompt and already exists now this will not work if I copy and paste here so I will have to type it work on my setup now everything is set up the environment is set up for Django now you basically want to run pip install Django so it's all must going to take a few seconds here on my system it's already been installed so once Django has been installed you want to check the Django version so to check Django version you go up here I will leave this link as well writing your first Django app part one copy it and check the Django version so this is Django 1.11.5 you can see it so before we create our first Django project I want to make sure that I have a specific folder for my project Django project so I'm in the C directory now here to get into C directory you simply type CD and and then enter and then you type make dir and then the folder name so my folder name is going to be my last name and then enter so it's been created and then type cd and the folder name and enter now i want to create my first project here so django admin start project and then you want to say the project name so whatever the name is django hyphen admin start project site my site this is going to be created and it's been created so now i need to be in my project and then run my server so to run server python manage.py and then run server this is going to run server now you want to go to this url which is localhost colon 8000 and it should be here so this is your first project with django now you can create your apps and thank you so much for watching the video please like share and subscribe for my channel have a good day